Hey, what's up? So I've done the admin portion of this so far, but now I'm gonna show you how to include a user onto your project and so they can start editing on this project as well. All right, so if you're trying to add a new user, you're gonna go into the tools here as the administrator, by the way, I should have mentioned that. Um, as the administrator, you wanna go into the tools administration and then you want to add your new person. And I think I mentioned this a little bit last time in the other video, but uh, you just need to hit the new user. You fill in all the information for the new user. Typically you want to click uh, type standard so they can actually write in the files and stuff like that. Uh, you can create groups and I did if you need to divide your team up and stuff like that, all you have to do is hit the plus icon for the new group and then you can set all the things that you wanna set. But if not, just you can leave it. You don't need a group. Now, if I go into the permissions tab over here, you can check people's permissions. And as you can see over here, I have super access because I'm the administrator, I'm the super controller of everything. And uh, you can see this person here only has write access. So you can see it's super admin write. When write means that they can still edit the projects, but they can't do administrative tasks. As you can see, I'm in a completely different setup. Camera's over there. Um, this is because I'm using a completely different computer to use as my other computer that's not my admin computer. So the first thing we want to do here is create a workstation. So as you can see, there's like no place for a workstation on here. So let's go find one. And here we're going to do workspaces. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new workspace. And here you'll see you have the workspace name, you have the workspace root, and you're going to have this stream. So what I need to do here is I need to match the type of thing it is with the admin type. So since I'm running a stream type for this, I need to run a stream on this one as well. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I am going to connect my IP address with I'm going to connect to the admin's IP address, whether that be local or not local. So I just need to, under the server here, you want to put in the admin's server address, not your own. So then you're going to pop up with a new window that has your new server address up in the top left. I'm going to be hiding it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a workspace in here. And to do that, we first need to pull out the workspace, click that. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click new workspace, create a stream here. Uh, because the Unreal project is run on a stream, so you have to match the types. So for me, it's going to be this. Going to click it, I'm going to click OK. And now I have a stream workplace from this computer. So I am back on this computer and I am back on this computer, the administration computer, uh, because the non-admin computer can run into an issue where it cannot connect with the Perforce server when trying to open a connection. And that, at least for me, was because the Windows firewall was making it so you couldn't open the ports 1666, which is the Perforce port. And to fix that, I just need to Windows R, and we're not gonna use command this time. It's going to be firewall, firewall CPL. And I'm going to click okay here. And then it's going to pull up your firewall settings. So now I need to go to advanced settings. 
And I already have the inbound and outbound rules that I need to set here. So for the inbound rules, we're going to click the new rule here. And what you're going to do is you're going to click port. And then you're going to click next TCP. And the specified port that you're going to pick is going to be the 1666. And then that's you're going to hit next. It's going to be allow and then you're going to allow the connection. And then you're going to have to repeat that for the outbound rules. Uh, sorry inbound rules and outbound rules you're going to do the same thing all right so i'm here i probably need to get latest revision and it's going to start copying over the files and the files are copied all right so next thing i want to do is i want to click this because it's only showing only workspaces available for use on this computer but i want to check to see if hers is working as well so i'm going to double click on here I'm going to go into here and I can go into edit, go to advanced and I'm going to check this. So all right, leave all workspaces files writable when getting revisions. I'm going to apply that and click OK. Fail to create the workspace. Do you want to continue? Yes. can only be used from I know that thank you very much all right I want to double click here and open up my project everything's all weird and floating things because I was messing around with stuff to test but uh let me test to see if this is working so the first thing I want to do in here is I want to go into change revision control settings. And what I want to change is I want to change this server so that it has the same server as the one that I was trying to connect to. Your server is going to be different than mine. But uh, yeah, make sure the provider is Perforce. Make sure the server is your server. Uh, make sure the username is your username. And if you have the right server and stuff it's going to pop down the available workspaces here and it's going to allow you to click on this one and it'll automatically fill in the information here and you accept those settings and the connection will tell you the connection is successful if it's successful and then what we want to do is we want to check to make sure that we can move things around so if i just lift this in the air so now that's this blue cube is floating. I'll make this one float too. Do that. So now we have two unsaved. I'm going to save. I'm going to check out the selected. And then I'm going to submit content. I said made cubes float. And I'm gonna, you can keep the files checked out, but then they can't use them until you make it so they can use them. So I'm not going to check this one. I'm just going to submit. And then it's submitted to the change log 34 or whatever it was. So I am now going to close out of this. So now I closed out of that. And let's go to view and submit it, submitted change list. And you can see there's a long list here. But uh, we can see mine that says made cubes float. And as you can see, the made cubes float is on the submitted list. So it's already submitted. So now I need to go back to the admin computer and show you what that looks like. All right, so I am now back on my computer again. So let's go to the file here and I want to get the latest version and I can see their versions over here made cubes float get latest version here two files updated and my guess for those files would be the cubes that moved right so let me double click here and see if it works
And now I'm pulling it up on my computer and the cubes are floating. All right, yeah, so that's all I wanted to show you. Have a good one, bye.